all previous moves we have done have been using the axes of motion merely as motors. They haven't had any intelligence added to them to make them be able to do anything else. Now we're going to do something whereby we introduce something called target tracking. And I'm going to find my first position, which is going to be It's a position where I am looking at something specific. And in this case, the specific I am looking at is going to be this bottle. I'm actually going to pull focus on that as well, approximately. So there is a start position looking at the center of this bottle or that line. Now I'm going to go to my second position. I'm lining this up using the framing on the actual bottle, looking through my camera to frame up on my actual bottle. There I have a two position move, I'm going to make it 200 frames, it's as we were running before, we have a start position and an end position, we have bearings set to be 35% up, 35% down, and we are at the end. So now we're going to run the move backwards and shoot it. And come in again and shoot it. As you can see from the move, Although we start looking at the bottle and end looking at the bottle, in between we look everywhere else but the bottle. I could go to the middle and put a point in that looks at the bottle, but it's quite obvious that I'm going to wander from looking at the bottle as I move through the move. I could put a, I could put 200 waypoints in the middle that will make it look at the bottle, but that would end up with a very rough and awkward looking move. It would also take me hours to program. Instead, I'm going to use something called target tracking. I'm going to go to 
the start of the move. And at the start of the move, I'm going to turn off my robot and measure the distance to the bottle. This is my measure hook. In this case, the measure hook is on the film plane and I would put my tape measure on the measure hook to take measurements. I measured to the distance to the bottle at that particular frame and it is 195 centimeters. Again, I'm going to disengage my robot and measure my distance to my bottle. This is my measure hook. In this case, the measure hook is on the film plane and I would put my tape measure on the measure hook to take measurements. I now measured the distance to the center of my bottle at my second position and it is 80 centimeters. So I now have two waypoints and two target distances. Now, if I go to my control menu and I turn on something called target tracking, tracking on. And I also make my roll level now, I can engage my robot and shoot it. And engage my robot and forward run, shoot it. They're the same waypoints. All I've done is add target distances and turn on target tracking. And now the camera looks at the bottle precisely throughout the move. This is called target tracking and is very useful indeed for making my moves that continue to look at things. My target here is a stationary point. My target need not be a stationary point. My target can move in space as well as my camera. But I'm guaranteed if I do my measurements correctly and my robot has been correctly set up that the target will be what I am looking at when I do my move. This relies on my machine having a model within Flare. Flare itself doesn't only consider these to be just motors. If I tell Flare in my setups kinematics file, if I tell Flare exactly the shape of this machine and what each axis does to the camera and if these measurements are correct then I will be able to do accurate target tracking because Flare knows where the bottle is in space and knows where the camera is in space and because of that it can plot the move and continue to look at the bottle with the camera throughout the move. This has been a Mark Roberts motion control training video. Thank you for watching.